So I've got this chip and I'll add a number displayer and we're going to use this in, uh, input over here to wire something into. So uh, we're just going to use a value slider and uh, we'll make it go into the minus range as well. Okay, so um, if this if a setting has a zero as the value and then you wire a value into it, wire some uh, source into it, it will give you this plug icon. And if you hold L1, you'll see what that means. So it says wire blend overwrite. So that means the value in here will just set the value in there. Uh, now you can cycle through these with L1 and then X. So now that's on blend mode. And then there's modulate mode and they all work a bit a bit differently. Um, now if this value, if this setting already had a value and then you wire in, then it will be, become the modulate, if you hold L1, that becomes the modulate wire blend mode, which effectively multiplies the input value by this value and that's what it becomes. So if I get the output of that and plug it in here, you can see it's 2.58 and that's kind of rounding for there. But if you hover over here, then you can change the original value, which is multiplied by the input. So if I put that to 0.5 and put this to point and put this to 10, it's multiplying 10 by a half, which is five. And then you can see the actual value it's using and hover over to see the original value. And it will output that again from the other side. Um, so that's basically how like the settings work when you set it with a, a wire. Now let's look at more in more detail about these blend modes. So this one looks like a plug, uh, but it actually looks like a OR gate. So if we zoom in, they're the same uh, icon. This is because it uses the same process it uses for an OR gate to figure out what the value should be. So let's go up here and have a look at how that works. So we've got the OR gate and it's receiving the 0.5 and the 0.5 and it's outputting 0.5. Leave that at 0.5 and then raise this above it. It will use that value instead, the uh, 0.9 value, because that is um, further from zero uh, than the other one. So if we actually go minus, then we can go to minus 0.5 and it will be the same, so it will just pick one, it picks that one. And then if we go further, it considers that to be the greater value because it's further from zero. Um, and then uses outputs that value from the other side. So let's see how that works over here. So if we have two inputs to the same setting, it's still doing that um, or operation like up there. So if we go 0.6 it will use the higher value but then if we go down here and give it a negative of more than 0.6 or equal to 0.6 then this one is now further from zero so it will use that value instead over here and it's outputting over there just as you expect. The modulate blend mode uh, uses a similar a similar method to figure out what value it should use so it will use the one furthest from zero so 0.6 and then it will multiply it by the setting as uh, we spoke about before. The blend mode which looks like a zero or a circle it averages these input uh, values so it's sending if we send a zero and a one the average of zero and one is half so it's setting it to half and it's ignoring any value that was in there before but it's just setting it to half and that's it. So that's how you kind of find the average or something. So you can actually use that to sum a lot of numbers at once. So if I wire those into here and I want to add, let's say we have 0.5 and 1, then we make sure this uh, input wire blend mode is on blend and it'll average them instead of uh, adding them. So it'll be 0.5 and 1 is 1 and a half, but then it will divide it by 2 because there are two inputs. So that's the value it actually uses for the calculation. But we know that there are two inputs, so if we multiply that by 2 again, it'll undo that division it does for the um, averaging. 
and then let's see what that gives us at the other side 1.5 again so it's adding it's uh, adding these up dividing them by the number of um, wires which is 2 and then we multiply by the number of wires to get the original adding up so you can add as many of these as you want basically uh, just using a single calculator if I half power a, um, a gadget the outputs will be um, multiplied by the power effectively so if we grab that and put that there so we can see what the output gives us um, when it's at zero it's sending a zero and when it's a one it's sending the full 0.5 value and then when we power that to half so if we put that at one if we send power it at one then it sends out one if we half power it then it still says a one on here but it's outputting half of that value because all the values from this gadget are multiplied by the power it receives so what if i did this for these over here so if we actually make both of these one and we fully power them both then the output we get is the average so we're on blend mode the output we get is the average of those that's one plus one divided by two now if we say that this is sending half of its value then it's sending 1.5 uh, but it's also uh, using the the power of the source gadgets um, to calculate this blend mode so it's like it adds up one from there and then adds half from there so it has one one and a half but then it knows it adds up the powers of the uh, source gadgets and divides it by that instead of just the number of wires so it has 1.5 and then divides it by 1.5 because that's the power total power and that's the value it uses so it still says one out of there so if we have this be 0.5 to full so if these are both full fully powered and this is this adds up to 1.5 and there's two of them so it divides 1.5 by 2 that gives you 0.75 but if I half powered this one now then it's adding half that it gets from there and half that it gets from there which is a total of 1 but then the power only adds up to 1.5 so it divides 1 by 1.5 and gets 0.67 which is 2 thirds uh, which is how maths works just as the or gate finds the value furthest from zero the AND gate uh, finds the one that is closest to zero so both of them are closest to zero so it just sends out zero um, sending a, a different further value doesn't do anything because it's got one that's closer to zero and then if you make this one more then it will become the one that's lower uh, closer to zero which is 0.4 uh, but even if you go negative then it'll use that value because it's closer to zero even though negative 0.7 is less than 0.4 it doesn't care about what's actually lower only what is closest to zero I'd like to thank DeadMC, Creator4983, MDKD99 and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible Check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping Dreams creators. Thanks for your consideration and I'll see you in the next one.